Interstellar Prime. This might be a, a callback for some of you. This was one of my uh, first looks. So we're actually going to see what the early access release is like. And hopefully we get to see a finished product. Because, uh, yeah, I've been following this through since it was, uh, since the prototype demo. So let's get into it and see how the the full, the quote unquote full game, because it's still nearly access, is, is going to shape out here. Personal log, January 21st, 2167. I finally am living the dream of being an astronaut. It took me a long time to get here, but I wouldn't have it any other way. See, astro miners are what really help sustain humanity in space. In many regards, we are the guardians of what's left of humanity. Although extremely dangerous, mining what's left of Phobos is essentially what keeps balance in the Today it came as far as I can afford the fuel. Hopefully, there's a lot of plutonium. Alright, first of all, this looks cool. Let me... SFX... Let's make the, the voices pop out a bit. Go back. So use the mouse to look around. Whoa! Alright, this is looking nice so wow. far. This is the farthest I've ever ventured out of Revan City. What am I doing here? Man, look at all that minerals. I'll be loaded by the time I get back. First, I'm gonna grab my utility rifle from the storage compartment. Oh, grab the utility rifle. So I've already jumped the gun a bit here. Ha! Jump the gun. Take the utility rifle. I just love the way this rifle feels in my hand. Now it's attached to the mineral tank. So I can collect some mineral as I pulverize these asteroids. Alright, let's get to work. So, press left weapon, weapon, um, mouse button to shoot, right aim to aim, shoot the laser to the asteroids to break apart and harvest materials. Alright. We're doing it. I think I've got it. I've got some ir iridium. Have as much as I can. Let's go. Let's act quick. This is some um, jazzy music. Looking good so far. Fairly chill start. Do I have to walk into this in order to get it? I don't know. Weird effects that are happening here, nonetheless. Apparently this is a gold mine. Oh god. There we go. Plus four AU. Got some gold. Osnium. And... Uh, even a tiny bit of platinum from these. Alright, 30S. Who knows? Shall I take my ship with me? You can also detach the mineral tank by getting close to it and interact with the blue screen. How do I... I need to get that prompt up again. There we are. Close it. Nice. Shouldn't I get in my ship? Oh, I'm stuck. <sighs> Thank god. Alright. Caution hot. Am I allowed to get in it? Apparently not. I guess I'm just, I'm just just having a ball over time. I left one of the minerals out here, but let's just go. Eh, should I, I should probably bring this along, right? It's gonna float off into space as well, so I should probably get it, grab it. Alright, let's go. 
Let's mine some of this stuff whilst I'm at it. Does it matter how close I am to it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not very good with my... Is it periodic table? Why am I blanking out? I think it's called the periodic table. And a good ash shot here. Keep going up. Whoopsie. So I'm nowhere near full at the moment, so I might as well keep going. Oh, that rock's going off into space. Nice, all right, I got everything I've ever wanted in life. What's this ship out here? Is this a gold mine? Why do I suddenly stop moving forward when I'm trying to go upwards? I guess my jetpack just doesn't really support that. Should probably detach my mining, but it's alright. I guess I just have infinite oxygen as well. What is this? I'm gonna take a closer look. Might be a good chance to try out this zero G compensator of this suit. Move lower towards the ground, left control, until your feet is about touching. Then press Z to activate the zero-g compensator. Walking around on an asteroid like there were gravity is such a great feeling. This could come in handy in combat, actually. I wonder if there's anything I can salvage from here. The mineral thing is getting stuck. Come on, mineral thing, let's go. Unidentified crap. This is Admiral Clark of the USS Jamestown. The sector is about to turn into a war zone any minute. Evacuate the area immediately. You have 10 seconds to comply. Oh fuck. Yep. I guess that's a wrap for me. Being this far out without an interplanetary spaceship, it's practically suicide. Not only because of the radiation and other space-related things that would kill you, it's the rogue AI. I'll tell you about it after I tell you how I get into astro mining in the first place. All right, I feel like it's a tad robotic just in terms of, well, let me talk to you about how I got into astro mining in the first place. Colonizing Mars, humanity's first step in becoming a space firing species. Well, we're not quite there yet. See, right now, humanity is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Quite literally. This is Remnant City. A city built inside a big rock. Or what's left of the Martian moons after they collided a little over a hundred years ago for some unknown reason. At least that's what they taught us in school. They also taught us that humanity was originated from a beautiful blue planet called Earth. Where there's real gravity, oceans, and a perfect ecosystem. But somehow, that all got ruined shortly after the singularity when the advanced AI decided to turn on us. Now the rest of humanity is kind of stuck here, in this rock, trying to survive space with as little AI possible. And that's what Rogue Core does. We make space survival possible by automation while ensuring that singularity won't ever happen again. For me, I'm just trying to pay my bills, working as a technician. Speaking of wish, I think this one is ready for final inspection. Alright. This is good so far. I really like the aesthetic. Like, even like the tin, <laughs> like the tin foil sort of like, um, events. You don't see that much. I don't know, something feels, something feels unique, so, uh, blah, blah, blah. something feels unique about the style here. These robots look very awesome as well. This one is good to go. Let's bring up the next one on the conveyor. Well, so what's this dude doing? He's like, yeah, pose for it. Do it. Yeah, I like the angles. Pose for me. Stick out the butt a little bit more. Swing a bit. <laughs> let's see his, Let's see whether or not... Does he have anything on his phone? What the hell? He has the selfie light on. <laughs> he has the selfie light like, all the time on. So it's just a widescreen. Uh, let's help here. 
Let me guess. Water damage. Alright, first person view. Ooh, this is cool. Oh god, the movement feels weird. What's happening? Like, look at that. And then I press. Press. There's like a delay and everything. Ugh, it feels really weird. Missing, so damaged eye light. The eye socket is missing. Also, rogue AI is Mass Effect. This is Mass Effect, by the way. Missing the chest cover. The chest cover. Obviously, the right leg is missing. I think that's it for this unit's visible damage. Now let's do the brain scan. Use the terminal to run diagnostic. Hmm. Looks like this particular AI chip has a mismatched firmware version. Let's ask David if he knows how to fix this. Uh, I really want to get close up to this thing, but it's freaking difficult. If you to control user interface transaction devices, magnetic or chip card reader to identify the customer. That's some sort of encryption. He's not even logged in. What is he doing? And let's uh, just disrupt these robots. Oh god. <laughs> that one, that one's missing the whole arm. And a head. Wow, it's- what? What did I do there? I barely even press forward. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, what? Just a minute, exec. We're picking up the pieces down here. What? What the f Just a minute, exec. We're picking up the pieces down here. Is he trying to do an Irish accent? How many times do I have to tell you? The right tool for the job. <laughs> you should. I don't even know what you're trying. Scottish, Irish. I believe it's one of them. That's like my Irish or I can do a better Scottish accent than he can at least. I think he's doing Irish. Like I can do better Irish than him. Actually, no, it's probably we're probably on par, but we're still both really awful Vic. Talk to David, who doesn't look very impressed with me. WhatsApp. Did he, did he say WhatsApp or what's up, bud? I don't know. What are you doing? Hey, what you doing, man? Eh, uh, you know, reading an article about how humans would never trust an AI. Really, I'm just trying to look busy. Really, I'm just trying to look busy, you know? You know how I really feel today? <laughs> Are you trying to be Australian? I feel like all, none of these people, they're, they're all imitating the accent and not actually, they're not actually either one good at it or two have it actually. They're just like, well, we're just gonna like give this dude an Aussie accent even though no one on our team can do it. I've never had to fix firmware stuff before. Can you help? Only shift managers have access to that. Go ask Alex. <laughs> uh, it's just too amusing. Alright, get out of my way, robots. Wait, V, right? Maybe maybe third person's more easy to control. Which it feels like... It feels like it's a little bit more easier to control than in first person. First person feels way more delayed. Hello, Alex. You, are you wearing the same shirt as the other dude? You do realize that you're a little behind on your weekly quota, right? Never mind. Uh, I'll tell them what I need. The unit I'm working on has a firmware mismatch, and I don't know how to fix it. Oh. Well, didn't you go through the training? I'm sorry, buddy. I can't help you do your job. You're going to have to fix it by the end of the shift, or you'll lose your job. My advice? Ask David. Oh, he doesn't sound very nice. Also, my head is weirdly attached on. The skin doesn't look right. Also, my face skin looks really weird anyway. It looks like I'm wearing like a plastic sheet over my face. Or like I've had some really bad suntan burn. And it's all peeling. But it's peeling all in one go. Uh, yeah, that's a nice... He's a nice dude. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna fire- uh, come on door. Register door. I'm gonna fire you. If, uh, you don't do your job. Oh, frickin' doors, man. How about you fix the doors around here? Maybe use my salary to fix the doors. Once you fire me. Sent you right back to me, huh? 
Gotta love corporate runarounds. Sure did. He sure did. Now, uh, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, he's never been of much help. He's a typical corporate boss who's there to make sure things look good. They might as well hire an actor for that. I don't recall me ever getting any meaningful help from management. Corporate world, what do you expect? Well, uh, at least a competent boss. But I guess that's too much to ask for nowadays. Anyway, anybody you know that might be able to help? Actually, there's a guy who can help. His name is Hans, but he lives in District 8. You know the district where all the fancy people live? Well, anyway, he co-owns an aquaphonic farm and sells fish every Friday at Dream Market here in District 3. Go there and see if you can find him. I'll cover you while you're gone. District 8 people are typically pretty snobby. You think he'll help? Hans is a good guy. He used to be one of us before he got promoted for inventing some fancy AI algorithm. I might take this chance to get some grocery shopping done while on the clock. Hurry up before you miss him. <laughs> I feel like the dynamic mo uh, camera movements during dialogue are a bit, a bit too busy. Can I just make bad decisions and go in there? Nope. Alright, well, let's go. Well, I became an astronaut, so even if I do get fired, I'm not too too bothered. This mission's called Another Day at the Office. Find a man named Hans at uh, Dream Market. Ah. Oh. Man, this, these controls. What the hell is happening with his front lip? But it's just like the whole bit under his nose. It's like a strip that's really... S I, I don't know. Hello everybody, you're all on your phones. Just like real life. Maybe this lady, she looks like she's pretending to do work. Keep moving. Hello robot. You can't help me, I guess. Kinda intrigued to see what's down here. Don't mind me, just going into the extremely dark basement place. Bloody hell. Alright, I guess there's nothing down there. Guess they sealed that place off after the... I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Am I severely limited in where I can walk? Maybe not. Thank you, Copper. Your your AI. I'm using your your police car as a as a taxi. Thank you very much. With this, if the cop car turns right, god damn it. I think I'm not allowed to go further. Shoot. Is it gonna turn? Turn around. Ah, oh, I need to get back on it. God damn it. It dropped me off at the place I didn't want. Oh god, that was a lot of loading. Oh, it's a bit... It's a bit framey here. Let's, uh... Double check. Right, so... Hey, maybe if this ran half decent. Which... Oh, oh! I think I found a spot where it's running half decent. This looks really nice. Look at this. There's a whole bunch of advertisements everywhere. Which is a common thing that you'd see around worlds. But this is... This feels weird. This feels compact. This feels industrial. This feels corporate. This dude's tall. Fucking hell. Well done. I, I, ima I can imagine doing like a, a detective game in this little city. It's like expanded a bit. And like there's a bunch of back alleys that I gotta try and do stuff in. And solve murders. Alright. Looking good. Oh god. Oh god. Taxi. Taxi! No! Taxi! Help me. This cool looking car. But uh, I wish I could have got on a lift. Oh god. Performance is struggling. Right. 
Oh, this place looks cool, like this little marketplace, although it's so empty. It can barely run just with no people, let alone people, so I understand, but... Nah, it's not as bad. I like all the reflections on the floor. It is very shiny. I can say that for sure. Oh, there's a person here. I'm beginning to think that the planet Earth is just a myth. Yeah, you better get people like that. And to the dream market. If I... Th if I... Alright, I had hunches what the dream market was, but it wasn't this. I remember in the demo there was a lot more sci-fi looking place than this. This looks like something legit you could you could go to. Yeah, actually looks pretty nice here, and plausible for a sci-fi place. Hey, wanna know how I lost 120 pounds? You look fucking weird. Not today, thanks. <laughs> so I didn't mean to press that. Hey, wanna know how I lost 120 pounds? Go on then, go ahead. How? I not eating for two weeks and snorting all these spices. She wants some. Mm. Are you Hans Spinejans? <laughs> I I guess he isn't. I'm just gonna leave. I read somewhere in the history books that there's a creature called a Tamagotchi. I wonder what they taste like. A creature called Tamagotchi. Nice one. Nice haircut. It's actually not too bad at hair. Not gonna lie. Close up is probably looking really bad. What the fuck are these fish? Intriguing. You wanna be buff like me? <laughs> you gotta eat a lot of fish. <laughs> I wish I would like encounter these people at my at my marketplace. You wanna be buff like me, boy? You gotta eat this fish. Are you Hans Spinejans? No, I am not. Are you gonna buy some fish? <laughs> you gonna buy some fish or I'll stab you. <laughs> not today, thanks. <laughs> Good day. Take a look at my vast selection. <laughs> oh, you gotta be Hans. Are you Hans Spinejans? It's -a me, Mario. Oh God, F fuck off. I guess you're not Hans. Maybe you can help me find him. I guess you're not Hans. Maybe you can help me find him? We have many selections. I also do plumbing on the side. I bet you do plumbing on the side. Um, let's buy... Uh, buy stem cell Angus beef. Stem cell Angus beef. Uh, let me have five pounds of those delivered to my apartment community fridge, please. Excellent. <laughs> is that five? I didn't read it properly. Is that five pounds in Brit British pounds or or weight? I think it was weight. We have many things to choose from. You look like you work out. Two hundred fifteen pounds of pure muscle. What is up with people than being muscly in this marketplace? Are you Hans Spinejans? No, I am not. Are you gonna buy some fish? <laughs> Why are all the fish sellers muscle men? Wait, am I back at the same spot? Even back at the same spot? Who knows? Well, you sell fish, but you don't look like a muscle man. You wanna be buff like me? Oh, maybe not. You gotta eat a lot of fish. <laughs> it's th the same dude. No thanks. Not today, thanks. Who? Who and what am I doing? Trying something here. What's happening? You look different. Chicken for my makeup. For my makeup, it's not a TD mark, Lena. These also could pop. Are you Hans Spinejans? Hey, Taisy. Con Pony put a mirror on the tomatin fang lomic culture in it. Do you understand the word that's coming out of my mouth? ภาษาอังกฤษนะพูดได้นะแต่ว่าผมไม่อยากจะพูดภาษาอังกฤษเข้าใจมั้ยพูดภาษาอังกฤษเนี่ยมันเป็นเป็นอะไรที่มันโอ
ให้ให้ตายสิคนคนนี้พูดอะไรไม่รู้เรื่องเลยทำไมฟังแล้ oh, I I mean I made a bad mistake Where's Hans? Tell me where Hans is. One of these dudes. <laughs> And a man named Hans. Apparently, this is where all the rich people are. Which I don't believe. Fresh sushi grade seafood from District 2 Aquaponic. Would you like to try some today? Oh, this is Hans. Sure, I love fish. What type of fish are you in the mood for today? I'll take a pound of tilapia and a pound of rainbow trout. All righty, let me bag that up for you, and it'll be delivered to your apartment's community fridge in 30 minutes. Did you know? Aquaponic seafood is the only space food that doesn't have to be grown in a stem cell farm. One more thing. Do you know of a guy named Hans? Oh yeah, he's my partner. But you just missed him. He already left for the day. Headed back to District 8. But if you hurry, you might be able to catch him at the tram station. Thank you, sir. I'll be on my way. I'll be on my way, sir. Don't worry about me. Yeah, so that's Hans. I'm getting like free fish, right? I don't have any money on me. And this is like, uh... It's like a flashback, right? So uh, I have, I can spend as much money as I want. Cool advertisement. A Robocorp. Why why are the policemen lights flashing? But I bet they won't try and get anyone. Uh, gotta go underground. Gotta go go around this way. Oh god. Come on. No taxi. Enter, enter Robocorp. I don't think I need to be here. I need to go down. Oh god. Oh, here we are. Come on. There we go. Yes, enter District 3 tram station. Trave to other districts. I think they meant travel. Is she supposed to be writing something? I think they duped her. I think I think they tricked her into, into doing that. And then we're like, ha! We're gonna make her look like an idiot, because we're not gonna actually draw anything on the screen for her. This place gives me the creeps. Can't wait to be able to open a market in District 8. Excuse me, sir. Are you happen to be Hans Stauffenberg? Indeed, I am. What do you need? I'm a Robocorp employee, and I really need help with them. Oh no! Underground robots? They must be programmed for automated robbery! <laughs> and to face through each other. And we're going to stand here. Press 5 to enable melee. You can use mouse scroll wheel to switch between weapons. You just for now have your fists. I'm gonna... Am I gonna fist fight robots? What the hell? <laughs> what is this noise? They're like tripping up on each other as well. Oh god. Come at me bros. Let's go. They're punching each other. How am I gonna how am I gonna defeat robots with my fists? This must hurt. Let's go, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> Fucking come at me, bro. Yes. Oh man, that was close. Thanks for not killing me in the process. You were saying something. What did you need? Long story short, I need help not getting fired. Well, uh, I don't know if I can help you with that. What did you do? I have to fix a unit with a firmware issue by the end of the shift, or my boss will fire me. And I don't have access to a debugger. Well, that's easy enough. I can definitely help you with that. I'll meet you back at Robocorp.
Right, I guess I'm not allowed a companion. That was... Was, was that necessary? I guess I had to save his life, and or, or at least save him from getting mugged. In order to... Uh, not... Or in order to get him to help us. But it was a bit confusing, because that, that really came out of nowhere. Keep going. I know Robocorp's just around the corner. Considering I was getting... I accidentally went there. Oh god. I like the neon lights. Uh, I wish this ran a bit better. It's not as bad as I've been making it out to be, but it's still not great. That's real. This is a real life advertisement. MNG Insurance. Sponsored by. Alright, let's move up. It turns out he doesn't help us, and then he, and then the boss fires us, and then we become an astronaut. And all that was for nothing. Hmm. We could just wipe out the existing firmware. I know the correct version to close this ticket, but I got curious. I'm looking at the code. It seems like someone's been tampering with it, which is impossible. The firmware for these new units are proven to be impenetrable. I'm going to escalate this and see what's really going on. This could mean corporate espionage. But for now, I'll just take this unit off of your responsibility. I'll tell Alex to chill out. You should be good now, buddy. I told Alex and corporate what you did. You're approved to take the rest of the day off. And you can take Monday off as well. Haha, oh, that's the best thing I've heard all day. Thank you, Hans. I really could use the time off. Working on a really big project at home. So, you guys have a nice rest of the day and have a good weekend. I'm gonna head back home now. Uh, working on a big porn project. Gotta get back home now in order to continue filming it. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, I. Doesn't Hans not work for this organization? And he's like, I'm gonna escalate this. I'm gonna take it off your hands. I'm gonna do everything for you. I've spoken to your bosses already. Ha ha. I don't, maybe this is this is apparently called side hustle. This uh, it's a little mission to get back home. Let's do that. Wish I could take a taxi. A decent while away. God damn. Jump. Hell yeah. Take the upper floors. Get a higher, higher leck out on this area. Unnecessary stairs. Oh god. Right. Over halfway there. Brunt. I live in a very small corner, or a very dark corner. Right. So I guess this is auto-saving, I was just double-checking. Humanity will always find a way to make a sanctuary. In my case, I turned this garage into a place where I can do something about my future. I don't like the fact that a corporation gets to decide what I should be doing with my time while I'm alive, so I'm doing something about it. Even though I hate my job, but it at least gives me a mean to work on something that keeps my sanity and gives me hope that there is more to life than just literally living inside of a rock. And that is building my spaceship. I have to finish this before the lease is up next month. I'm lucky enough to have found a garage this big for rent at a price I can afford. Hopefully, this will be my ticket into Astro Mining. Alright, I'm gonna have to give my friend Phoenix a call and see if he got any lead on that heat exchanger. That's the only thing left before I can actually test this thing. Huh. Alright, that's surprisingly applicable. But, let's, uh... This looks like something out of, like... I, I can imagine going into a shop in the UK and being like, Oh yeah, this is the Urban Shop. Like, it has Urban in the name. There's, there's a mirror here. That's very impressive. We all know how difficult mirrors are. Or how, they, how difficult they used to be. Also, this is very impressive. You put this all by yourself, man? You are- 
All right, that, that caught me off guard. I'm very, I'm very surprised. And impressed. So this is what we were using. But also his apartment is actually pretty sweet. I love to live here. Look at that. That is a cool, cool ass looking screen as well. Double sided. Why not have that? Gives you an excuse to put a table in the middle of a room because then you can see it on both sides. But is it backwards? Is it backwards? You see whatever is on it, it backwards? Shit. The image went away too quickly. I'm just gonna call Phoenix. Hey, I was just about to call you. That expensive heat exchanger you need for your ship? I found a guy who's willing to let you have it in exchange for a favor. You might not like this. It involves underground activity. Come meet me at the alley if you're interested. Of course I'm interested. I'll be right over. <laughs> you don't usually hear that noise when people hang up the phone, so I don't mind that. You can also save your game by sleeping in your bed. Let me get up from my chair, which is definitely not... Uh, which is definitely an object in my room right now that has collision. Uh, where's my bed? It's upstairs, yeah. Let's hope that I don't walk through the railings again. Oh, wait a second. Something I can interact with down here. Test deploying landing gear. Bloody hell. Nice animations as well. But hell, dude, you've been hard at work. Did he say how long he'd been doing it for? That's been a while. Oh, what's up with the with the frame rate? It must be this mirror. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm actually probably going to leave it here for now. But we'll continue this later on. Why? That must be difficult to get up there. Also, you've got a beanbag in the way anyway. To get up to more of your clothes. Why? You've got you've got plenty of clothes down here. I like this sort of wardrobe though. It's pretty cool. Oh, uh, no, I thought there's something to interact with here, like I could change my clothes. I wish I could wear this star jacket thing. New York, Tokyo, Berlin, London, Paris. Huh. Well, uh let's see what I can turn here. I'll see you all next time for some more Interstellar Prime. And we'll see what's happening with the Phoenix underground or Phoenix's underground. I don't know, jobs for us, I guess. Gotta go go down dirty in the underground. Anyway, that sounds like a song. And bye bye. <laughs> Going down dirty in the underground. Going getting dirty in the underground. Mm, 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 mm.